Hey ladies, Haley from the Transformation Center, and I'm teaching you exactly how to lose six kilos in six weeks. And six kilos in six weeks for some of you may sound in incredibly hard. You may have done it before, you, you may not have ever done it before. But if we really break it down to a science and break the math down, it becomes really, really simple. So I'm going to teach you exactly how to lose six kilos in six weeks, and we teach you exactly why you've done things previously and you haven't lost the six kilos in six weeks or the kilo a week. Now what tends to happen is our resting metabolic rate may be 1600 calories per day. So our body uses 1600 calories per day for energy just to, just to keep you know, everything, everything running and our body functioning. So what happens is 7,700 calories equals one kilo of body fat. So we, we remember the number 7,700. Now if we go 1600 times by seven, 1600 over the course of a week, that's 11,200 calories our body burns over the space of seven days. If we now look at 7,700 calories, which is what we need to burn each week to lose a kilo of body fat, I'll just do the math quickly. Uh, take away seven, seven, 3,500. So that means with the math there, we can only consume and put inside our bodies 3,500 calories over the space of a week. And you know, I know a lot of people, they'll eat 3,500 calories in a day or even space over two days. So what needs to happen is we need to be eating 500 calories per day over the course of seven days to drop that body fat if we're just concentrating on the nutrition. Key problems are 500 calories is probably the size of your dinner. So you're eating one meal a day. Second issue is, our body is uh, so amazing in terms of our metabolism, there's been studies showing that our metabolism will slowly start to drop. So this may have been you, you may have been doing a nutrition or a diet, whatever it may be, and you know, lost quite a bit of weight, and then gone to a point where you know, you're not eating much and you're just not dropping any weight, you've hit a plateau. And that's exactly why the 1600 calories our body was functioning at, you know, how amazing our body, body is, is probably dropped to maybe 1000 calories per day. Now, the next step we can do, and what we really focus on, because as you've seen, to drop six kilos in six weeks, if you're just going to change your eating, you're eating 500 calories per day, and you're in six weeks' time, your metabolism will be incredibly low. So just to maintain, you're eating nothing. If you start going back to eating what you were before, you'll start gaining the weight. It's really simple. Our base metabolic rate here, if we eat more calories, we gain weight. If we consume less calories or expend more, then we lose weight. Now, if we look at training, and we look at resistance training, for example, we're not talking about cardio, we're talking about resistance training that has an afterburn effect. What can happen is, if you're doing 30 to 40 minutes, um, you know, even 25 minutes of intense exercise where you're lifting weights, you're putting the muscle on the tension, you're getting your heart rate up, you'll find that 1,600 calories that your body used to expend over the course of a day, may be all the way up to 2,600 calories. Now, if we do the math again, really quickly, 2,600, 2,600 times by seven, we're now expending 18,200 calories over the space of a day. We take away that there, uh, it looks about 10,500 calories over the course of a week we can eat. So, doing the math again, bear with me, divide by seven, that equals 1,500. So we can consume, if we consume 1,500 calories per day, because we're expending so much, because we're doing resistance training, we'll drop a kilo a week, and 1,500 calories for most of you is probably what you're eating right now. So just by incorporating training, and you just sorting out some fundamentals with your nutrition, you can drop a kilo a week really, really easy. Now the second thing I want to talk to you about is, what tends to happen is just say we are following that approach, um, and we may be getting good results, but if we're not, this is what happens. We'll eat on Monday, 1,500 calories. Tuesday, 1,500 calories. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we've eaten 1,500 calories. I know it's not a straight line, but bear with me. And then what happens is we get to Saturday and Sunday. And Saturday and Sunday, we may have light days where we actually eat upwards of 3,000 calories per day. And this is something that's not rare. So if we add that in, we're actually consuming 3,000 calories more. So let's go through that again. 1,500 times by five, and then we're adding on the 6,000 because we've blown out here, so plus 6,000 
equals 13,500. And if we do the math there, we've got to cut our weight loss by half, even by a third. Because sometimes we even go more over the top. So essentially what it is, is we tend to look day to day. We need to look at over the course of a week. We need to look, be look at being consistent every single day of the week, not having those blowouts, and realizing that if we do blow out on this day here, don't stress, we have a week to make up for it. We have a week to do some extra workouts or maybe you know, eat a little bit better, maybe just drop our calories another day just a little bit lower to account for that. It's a cycle that's not daily, it's not 1,500 calories, did you go more, did you go less? It's something that works over the space of a week. So right now I've gone through exactly how to lose six kilos in six weeks. It's extremely easy, you need to be doing the right training. If you're doing cardio, if you're on a treadmill, this will not happen. If you're on a treadmill, you need to be on a treadmill for about two hours to get the same result. If you're doing resistance training, weights, anything like that, which I implore you to do, you know, I've got some training videos that you can watch, stuff that you can do at home, but if you're doing that and you fix up your eating, you'll be eating probably more than you ever have before, especially if you follow our nutrition protocols, um, and you'll find that you lose a kilo a week consistently every single week. It's really that easy, guys. Stick to this, follow them, implement resistance training, weight training, have a few nutritional changes, don't starve yourself, and six kilos in six weeks is extremely easy.